listen to this music. It's so weird when it's running this slow. Welcome back to Gator Snapper playthrough of Bionicle, the game based off of the movie very loosely. I got him. Man, oh my god. And sorry, like, this game you really have to fight the camera. Because it's like, you want... A, a camera should just, like, you know, hang out like this. This is what a camera should, like, kind of situate itself at. But instead, you let go of the camera and it just fucking decides this is what you want to be looking at. It's like, that probably makes sense for platforming. Because, like, oh yeah, I want to see where I'm, like, jumping and whatnot. But, I mean, at that point, I could, you know, put the fucking camera there myself. I don't, I, I don't know, I just want to have more, like, fucking, I want to look around more, like this, so I can see what I'm fucking doing. Uh, oh, did, did we do it? Oh yeah, we did it. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, I guess I'm not going to worry about that mask down in the deep spot. I'm just going to, I'm just going to go. I'm just going to go on to the next part of the stage. I'll do a 100% run some other fucking time. The day that I 100% this game is gonna be fucking worse. It'll be a nightmare. Oh, maybe I do have to actually jump down from real high to get to there. Let's see, will it let me kind of... Oh, no, there we go, cool. Thank God, I was super worried is trying to make me actually do that unnecessary extra shit. Oh, hey, and we got fucking monsters here. All right, come on, let's not cut to... Golly, golly, it's, it's right there. Golly, it's in front of you. Golly, good. There you go. Now you, now you're doing it. You just fucking kill frogs right now. Jesus Christ. I mean, like, I understood getting into this game that it's going to be something along these lines in terms of like how bad it would be. But there's still certain things that's like, oh my God. It's a, it's a good thing that like. Oh, actually, I don't know. Let's say, let's just say what I had in mind initially. It's a good thing that most games nowadays know how to fucking design a game. But then I had to stop myself because then I was thinking like, you know what, there's a lot of games that still don't really know how to fucking design a game. It's definitely better than this because they know that there's like, they know that like, you know, there's certain things not to do when you design a game. My argument with it was just like, there's, you know, just some, there's some things that are done in games nowadays that are still just not very entertaining or fun. But, I mean, at least it's actually a proper design. Is that... Hey, uh, leader, what's up? Eight Matoran helpers are required to operate this crane. It, really? Okay, well, shit, this is probably number eight right here, so let's pop her out. Don't worry, little fucking... I don't even... Little robot girl, I'll pop you out of here. Oh, I guess that wasn't enough charge. Let's try it again. Uh... Yeah! There we go. Man, and I'm just starting to... Rem I'm remembering that, uh... There was a game that I fucking played back on, uh, fucking PC. It was like a Flash game, I guess. But there was a, uh, there's a game that I found online where it's just like, you play as one of these, like, little water Matorans, and I don't know what happened. You're, like, I guess you're just kind of going around and, uh, you're, it's a point-and-click adventure from what I remember. I think it was in preparation for, like, this big game that you were supposed to play with, like, all the other little village people. And from what I remember, like... Oh, God, I don't, I don't even fucking know. I'm trying to remember where I was going with this little fucking... this little story. I don't know. It's just, like, this little point-and-click adventure you play as, like, the little Matoran. There's a big flood or something, and then you're going to go play a big game with everybody, and yeah, that was essentially it. I don't know, I guess, like, all I really wanted to say is, like, I played the game as a kid, and, uh, I remember being like, whoa, this game's super fucking cool, it's like a little adventure with Bionicles. And then, I don't know, I guess, oh, there she goes, now she's working. I guess at some point I'll just have to try and find it and play it and see if it, it, it could not possibly hold up. Like, it, if this game doesn't hold up at all. And that one definitely won't. It'd be like one of those things where it's like, with certain point-and-click adventure games, you kind of get into this whole thing of like, oh yeah, this is totally going to be what the solution for this area is, right? And then you do it, and you try to do it, and it just doesn't fucking work whatsoever. Oh, okay. Oh, I, I guess it's just moving to put, put myself in position. All right, yeah, let's do that. I'll collect some little fucking Matorans, why not? I'll save these little guys from the, the shitty life they lead. All right. I mean, legit, I don't even think I have to do anything to really help. I guess she's high up, but she's like a water mator and swims her whole deal. She could dive from a high place. Oh, golly, look, with the boulder gone, you can swim through the Kini. 
I don't know what the fuck a Kini is. If you just wanted to say a water channel, say that. Also, I came over here because I thought she needed help. Okay, I guess she did. Alright, bye. God. And then she had the audacity to think I needed help to know where to swim. What a little shithead. Alright, let's go through the thing that is, I guess, called the Kini. Oh, God, it's... Alright, freaky. I guess it's just like a big water channel they can swim through? Alright. Why are there things on a lower level? How am I supposed to reach that? Like, it can't be a thing of just diving from a high place either, because... Hold on, maybe if I... Fuck, that is... Yeah, no, I don't even... I don't think I get low enough to hit one of those. That's so weird. Hold on. Uh, yeah, that's weird. I don't get it. Alright, whatever, keep on going. Like I said before, not expecting this game to be in any way good. Ooh, you know what, though? This game gives me a lot of fuck. It reminds me of, uh... There's a Power Rangers game, very much like this. But I think it was even on GameCube as well. It's based off my favorite Power Rangers, the Dino Rangers. That would be also bad to play. I'll have to fucking find that in the future as well. Here, oh my god, stay on the platform. There we go. Huh, don't worry, little child, I'm here to rescue you. I'm actually doing surprisingly well at collecting these little bastards, and I hate it. How much of my fucking time as a child did I waste mastering the art of Bionicle? Apparently a lot, since I know so much goddamn trivia of Bionicle. And only a por like a small portion of it was stuff that I had picked up from, uh, like, recent days of, like, studying up Bionicle. I don't even... I don't even know why I was like, you know what, let's fucking look into Bionicle lore. I guess one day I just remembered that I'd watched Bionicle, or watch, uh, read and played with Bionicles as a kid, and I was like, wow, this totally holds up. It do a doesn't. Oh no. <laughs> We're in the mega slow zone now. This is really bad. I went into my PlayStation- oh, wait, we're back to normal. I went into my PlayStation 2 settings to try and, like, see if I could fix it, but, uh, yeah, no, we're, we're kind of- from as far as I can tell, this is kind of what we're stuck at. Oh, hey, and look, it's all the, uh, it's all the fucking Bionicle faces on the wall. It's weird because, like, the mask that, like, we had in this game didn't even fully look like this. Like, Tahu did not look- wait, no, that's not Tahu. I think that's Green Guy, actually. Oh, yeah, Tahu's up in the top left. I guess he kind of looked like that. It's really the, uh, the Toa Nuva faces in the movies that, like, d didn't match up so well. Actually, no, is the Toa... Uh, what were they called again? The Toa Mata or whatever? Whatever was in, like, the second arc of Bionicle. Their faces from the movies did not match the faces from the actual, like, toys. Uh, if we were 13 Matoran strong, we could activate the Kini and reconstruct a submarine around he to smash through the barrier to the Bulrock Call Cave. Golly. You have to find more of our sisters. I'm pretty sure I got 13 on hand. Like, hold on, let me check. Get, get out of my way, fucking elder. How, can I check how many I have? I mean, I guess... I guess there's probably more in this vicinity. Hey, hey, little shits. Stop shooting at me. Don't make me fucking kill you. Have some self-preservation. Leave me alone. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll just go fucking look for some more shitty little... Uh, what? The Galmatorans? Whatever the fuck they're called? I don't know. They're all... Oh, wait, yeah, there's another one right there. Yeah, no, these things need to have better self-preservation. Both, you know, both the fucking monsters and my people. Stop getting caught in evil purple webs, you little shits. All right, come on, let's give it a shot. All right, charged up, and... Ugh, here we go. That takes all my goddamn juice to set that up. But yeah, there we go, we got 13 right there. Sweet. I, or, no, I guess that was 12. Shit. All right, then I guess we'll get 13 somewhere over here. Lucky number 13, where you at? Let's see. I swear to God, if they manage to get to the bottom of this damn lake and survive long enough down there to have to be rescued, I'm going to murder them. Like, they've lost all rights to live at that point. Uh, I guess I could... How would I get up there? I'm assuming it, the last one would be over there. Maybe the platform I can jump on is over this way? Oh yeah, it looks like the ground is... Yeah, there we go. Cool. Perfect. I mean, let's just find our last little shit, or is it just gonna be this? Oh, shots. Oh, no, there she is, hiding behind the canister. There you go. She was born from the canister. She'll die in the canister. And we'll just collect some more little shitty things of light in the meanwhile. Alright, Toa Elder. We're, we, we got all the little slave labor that we need. We're ready to fucking open up the Kini. I don't even fucking know what the Kini is. I just got swept up in the current for half a second. I was worried it's just gonna fucking drag me away. It's like, no, I've got a plot to progress. Alright, there we go. 
God, this is controlling so weird. It's the real issue I'm having is just having to fight the camera the entire while to keep it like looking uh, at enemies. Like even in combat, this thing just starts to go like straight down. It's a real hassle. All right, oof. That every time I look at that water, it, it runs so it's fucking slow. All right, Elder, here you go. Open up the kini. Oh, oh, I like that. It's a big fucking fish. What did we need? Uh, wait, why did we need the? Oh god, I think. Oh, I guess. Oh, it's it's alive, but it's also a vehicle. Okay, bionicles. <laughs> All right. Why did we need thirteen for this? We were only able to fit three in there. Apparently, it could like control itself too. So, I don't even know what we needed three for. It looked like this thing could just do what we wanted it to do all by itself. Okay, whatever, it's Bionicle, it's, it's a bad game. Oh, oh, what, what's going on here? Oh, this sounds so bad. Oh, wait, don't grab that. Oh, oh, we're fighting a bunch of people, aren't we? Okay, this is... Oh, no. This is bad. Okay, so but it looks like this is just the same type of fight as with... Uh, fucking Tahoe, just with more and in a shittier environment. Okay, yeah, let's fucking, let's do this. God, this sounds so bad. This game does not handle, uh, the stuff that is in it too well. Maybe I should look into something a little better to try and fix this. Oh, God, but it's so funny. Just listen to this. It's a fucking nightmare. Just like this low fucking constant bass noise. It's so bad. Oh my god. Alright, here, let's shoot this little bastard. Good thing I can shoot while I'm in the air. Fucking save myself some fucking effort. Save myself some damage so I can actually knock these boys out. There we go. Alright, and I guess I'll just charge up in the meanwhile while I wait for it to come back. Oh god, maybe not. I'm, 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 I'm misreading what I'm able to do in my time frame because everything is running so slowly. Honestly, I could probably just kill a couple of these and everything will start to run smoothly again. It's weird, I'm able to shoot, like, in regular time, but everything else I do is, like, so slow. I'm, st I'm caught in the fucking uh, time jam, oh no. Uh, get your ah, right into it. Did she just say that hurts? Well, okay, thanks, golly. Good, good fucking eye you got there. You too are able to sense pain. That's good. That's actually really unfortunate for these fucking mechanical beings. They're able to feel things such as pain and sadness. Ah, this thing's trying to run me over. Alright, come on. I'm fucking done having my robot existential crisis. I'm ready to kick some ass. Get out of here. If only the fucking dead bodies would, like, de-render. Maybe that would make things run a little smoother. I mean, it's not like it would have ran like this back on, uh... You know what? I remember thinking that this was like a GameCube-only game, but I am playing this on PS2 right now. So that is something to consider. I wonder, like, I highly doubt it would have ran this badly on PlayStation 2. I don't know. It, it's, uh, I, I think I know what the issue is, but it's not something I can just outright say. I don't know. I'll, I'll go into my PlayStation 2's hard drive and, and fix more of the issues as they, as they come around. Oof. I don't know. I wanted to play this game on GameCube initially, just because, you know, GameCube is, GameCube is my bae. But, uh, yeah, this this game was surprisingly hard to find. The PlayStation 2 version was the only one I was able to get, unfortunately. But, I mean, it is what it is. It's been a... It's been a thing so far. I've been enjoying a lot of the weird fucking shit I've been putting up with. And also, ow, fucker ran right into me. Am I just, like, killing all the Borok cow by myself? Like, any of the other Toa want to come in and help out? Because, like, pretty sure, like, lore-wise, this is the kind of thing that, like, you know, Golly would just be fucking dead at this rate. Unless, of course, in the book it describes the situation perfectly, where it's just like, And then the Borok began to circle Golly endlessly, doing not really much of anything. <laughs> they shot a couple lasers, they shot some little fucking energy frisbees, but other than that, they... They were pretty ineffective. They just kind of fucking rolled around. Occasionally, they bumped into her, but she thought that was more of a fucking mild inconvenience than anything. Honestly, I think that the fact that it's running so slow is actually to my benefit, because I'm actually able to fucking time my shot perfectly so they can't even, like, attack me. Oh, I say that, but no, got an energy frisbee off. All right, come on, buddy. Go again. I'll even give you more time. There you go. 
There you go. He had all the time in the world, and he didn't even fucking manage to do anything good with that. All right, watch this. Get out of here, you goof. Oh, no, I shot too early. Huh, there we go. Problem solved. All the Bulwark are dead. I guess that's that. Good. But... You yeah, but it was too easy, right? Wait, Chronicler, what are you doing here? Strange oh, new creatures this isn't how the movie went at all. Uh -huh. Oh, now we got to deal with the Rahi. We're like halfway through the game, I guess, if we're just basing this off of how many Toa there are. Jesus Christ, that's good. All right, well, let's see. We're auto-saving? Hell yeah. You know what? On that note, I'm just going to go ahead and end this episode right here. So, yeah, this has been a Gator Snapper playthrough. See you guys in the next one. Later, everybody.